All right, let's get a reading ahead of the uh, storm likely to make landfall in uh, Florida late tomorrow night. From Keith Terry, he is the FEMA Response and Recovering Acting Director. Uh, Keith, Director, very good to have you. How are things looking right now from your vantage point? Uh, well, this is a very serious storm. It is obviously a very strong storm, a very large storm as it approaches shore. Uh, the uh, the wind field's going to expand significantly. And so we're, we're really trying to take advantage of this time to make sure that we warn everyone to take this seriously. Uh, there's going to be rain, wind, uh, surge, and most importantly, those folks that are in the evacuation areas, they need to evacuate right now. Uh, this is going to be a different type of storm. It's not going to be the same as some of the other hurricanes. Areas that have not flooded before are going to flood, and so we're really... Uh, pushing for everyone to evacuate now. We're working hard with our partners in the state of Florida. We're prepositioning resources, making sure that we're ready to, to, to respond, bring as much capability um, as we can. But right now, the focus is that action that people take to get themselves safe is really going to make a difference after the storm. How many are doing that, oh, Director? We heard that some who went through this whole thing in the last big evacuation, I think with Irma maybe uh, some years back, uh, they had a horrible experience with that stuck in traffic uh, stations that ran out of gas they said i'll never do that again never do that again well here they are getting mm -hmm. the same sort of warning uh, to, to evacuate are any not doing that uh, unfortunately there are always folks that that uh, that don't take those orders seriously and, and unfortunately in almost every one of these storms we do see loss of life and so it's important that yes it can be inconvenient to leave your home uh, but you don't have to go hundreds of miles you just have to go it's sometimes tens of miles away from the shore away from those evacuation zones uh, to somewhere safe it, it obviously uh, it, it's not something that folks would choose to have to deal with um, but you need to make sure that you stay safe people just like you that have not evacuated uh, in the past unfortunately have lost their lives and we want to make sure that we stress everyone to take action now I, I wonder if you can help me with some of these reports uh, and i don't want to get in the nitty-gritty of your finances and all that not your personal finances director but fema and whether it's up to the task uh we hear that it has no money or that it's low on money uh what what's the real deal here are you up to handling what will be a very very big storm Absolutely. We have the resources we need to respond to Helene and to Milton together. Uh, we have the financial resources. We have the manpower. And again, responding to these incidents is, a, is an all of federal government response. And it's also a strong partnership with the state government and the local government. So collectively, there are resources coming into Florida from all over the country. Uh, there are capabilities that are going to be able to be used to help folks after the storm. Um, and we're also going to be able to keep up with the ongoing recovery efforts we have. And so that's not something some people need to worry about. We're prepared for this. We trained for it. But again, these are critical hours, and these are the times to take those last steps for everyone to be safe. Where do people go in the event they do evacuate? I know a number of shelters, one housing uh, upwards of 10,000, I understand, have literally built up overnight and, and that there are plenty of places for people to go. We learned from Helene that, that those who were trying to escape it by simply driving north, let's say, ran into trouble, certainly, as we know, in, in Georgia and the Carolinas. I know this is a very different storm, but what do you tell them? And look into your local officials. They'll have information about shelters. You can go to uh, the state of Florida's website. They'll have information on what shelters are available or the American Red Cross. All of them can help you find a shelter location which you can access. And again, it does not need to be hundreds of miles away. It may only be 10 miles away from where you are now. And if you're in a, in a strong building, which all those shelters are, they will stand the winds and you'll be safe. And so um, look for those resources to identify where you can go uh, and, and take that action now. All right, a lot of people tend to get confused with these storms, and I, I can understand they've got a lot to worry about. And they say, well, where is FEMA? How can I physically find FEMA personnel here? It's not as if you all wear a uniform. I mean, so guide me through that. Yeah, so we play a number of different roles. One of the primary roles we do is, is support the coordination of all of the federal response. So our teams have been in the state uh, emergency operations center coordinating with the state of Florida. We are in all of the county emergency operations centers coordinating with them. So when they have a request, when they have a need, we can source that and we can support it. But we'll also be out in the communities, the search and rescue teams that we bring in from other fire departments around the, the, the country. Those are federal uh, employees that when they're being deployed and our staff will also be out uh, after the storm, uh, going door to door in the shelters, helping people register for assistance. And so FEMA will be there. Even if you don't see FEMA shirts in your neighborhood, we are there. We've been there from before the storm uh, and supporting the response and, and helping with the state and locals and whatever they may need.
You know, when we see storms yeah. like this and we look for cooperation among all types, we've seen a good deal of that so far, certainly in, in your state and elsewhere. So that's very promising. But again, this is a unique storm. It could get up to back to a Category 5. It's unfathomable, it seems to me, but uh, that it could. And the winds could be sustained for quite some time. I mean, well into the center part of, of Florida, 100 miles an hour or more. That's a very different beast, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, th this storm track and, the, and this forecast is one of those that uh, we've looked, watched out for and been concerned about for some time. The way in which the, the, the storm's approaching the shore, it's going to push that water. The storm surge is going to push that water up into uh, the bays in a number of different areas. And then you're going to have hurricane force winds all the way across the peninsula. In addition, 12 inches of rain in some areas, uh, that's going to fall uh, in, in rivers that are already full and not able to run out. So uh, important that people, wherever you are, heed the hazards, uh, make sure you have you, you prepare now. You can go to ready.gov and give you information about what kind of supplies you should have on hand. Uh, but this is a very serious storm. Everybody needs to take it very seriously. Yeah, I would imagine tomorrow yeah. and early tomorrow is the last chance for a lot of people to get what they need. And a lot of stores are fresh out of a lot of stuff they need. Not all of them, but so what are some of the big things you think that, that, that should be on everyone's list? Yeah, food, water, obviously, just for the immediate number of days. If you have medication, make sure you have that available. Uh, flashlights in case power goes out. Uh, and if you have pets, obviously, supplies for them. So uh, it, the most important things that you're going to need just to get through uh, the next couple of days, charge your phones now, charge your devices now. Uh, it's very likely there's going to be power outages that are going to last some time. And so uh, th those are the essential things that you can do. But again, uh, there are a number of resources, including ready.gov, where you can learn more about what to do to repair. All right, Keith Terry, FEMA Response and Recovery Acting Director. Thank you, Keith. Uh, be safe yourself following all of this. And, and, and words to heed and, and advice, certainly, to heed. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.